The story is as follows that San Antonio uh, authorities have found a trailer at a Walmart parking lot in San Antonio. And uh, let me just make sure right side here. Okay, cool. Uh, so uh, San Antonio authorities have found a trailer at a Walmart parking lot in San Antonio. Uh, according to News Executive, and I'm going to show you the tweet here from them. Uh, I've seen a couple of different sources saying something like this. News executive says, let me get myself out of the way. Or actually, let me let me blow this tweet up here a little bit more. Uh, they say eight dead, 20 injured in critical state after being found locked in semi-trailer at a Walmart car park in San Antonio, Texas. Now, a couple thoughts come to mind here. Could this have been some kind of uh, immigration thing where, where people were being smuggled in from Mexico, perhaps? Possibly. Uh, it's a bit odd that, in, in, in a sense, well, see, San Antonio is not right on the border. So, you know, but that's not to say maybe they, when they smuggle people and they drive them further than the border, maybe uh, for whatever reason. So that's one possibility. Human trafficking of some sorts, another possibility. Uh, so that's one report I saw. Let me show you another report I saw here, too. Uh, this is from Joseph Lopez. Well, let me actually hold on one sec, folks. Let me actually... I got to ca screen capture this and bring it up so you can actually see it. That's not what it was. I will capture this tweet and actually show it to you. Okay, there we go. That's better. This is from Joseph Lopez. And Joseph Lopez, just so you know, uh, he is with a news station there. He is with... Um, uh, I'll tell you in a second, but he, he, he tweeted out, uh, San Antonio Fire Department says multiple deceased, no approximate number, 11 to 12 survivors rushed to hospital. Uh, ICE, uh, Immigration and Customs, Enf is that Immigrations and Customs Enforcement? Is that what that is? Uh, contacted. And that's from uh, Joseph Lopez. And just so you know who he is, Joseph Lopez is, he is an executive producer uh, with KEN. Uh, five K E N S five in San Antonio. I wonder if K E N S five. Let me. I'll check while I'm with you. Sorry. I'll show you what I'm doing. Actually, I'm just checking if K E N S five has a, is having like a live stream of this or something. We will go to their page and we will see. Yeah. So okay. So this is what K E N S five is reporting. They're saying semi trailer discovered with immigrants on S W Southwest side four dead, more injured. So we're hearing different numbers of possible numbers of injured, uh, and uh, dead. We saw this see this report that says four dead. We saw a report with eight dead. We saw a report with many going to the hospital. Uh, so we'll try to get a little more information. This is all kind of breaking now. Uh, uh, one one thing that's preventing maybe a little more information getting out is if you go to, sometimes you can go and listen to the scanner, like the police scanner, but the San Antonio police scanners are not currently online. Uh, maybe it's just a thing where they don't, they don't, they're not online in the middle of the night or something. I don't know, but I checked and they weren't online. So I'm going to do my best to try to find you some information. Uh, if you, uh, oh, let me, I have a new tweet I want to show you. This, this tweet is just in, so let me show you this tweet uh, so I can a new tweet from News Executive. Now they're claiming, sorry, let me just put it up here so you'll see it in a second. See, there it is right there. See the bottom there? It says eight people were found dead inside a semi-trailer outside Walmart in San Antonio, Texas. 28 others taken to hospital, driver arrested. So if, now we have to take all these reports with a grain of salt because, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's breaking news and and, and whenever breaking news happens, you know, a lot of times the initial reports turn out to be not true or only somewhat true. But if this report is true, that would mean there were about 35 to 40 people inside that trailer. And eight, or it's, it's such an odd story because, I mean, it's a sad story, but also, so if there were 35 people inside the trailer and eight of them are dead and the driver was arrested, so the driver was there, it's not like... It sounds like if the driver was arrested, the driver wasn't like arrested somewhere else. I'm assuming the driver was arrested there, but then you have to wonder like, how did they find this trailer? Uh, did they get a tip? So there's lots of information about this that we don't know. We're trying to find out. Uh, if you 
come across any tweets about this or any more information, feel free to give me a shout. I'm at, at Lookner at L O O K N E R. I am just checking a couple of things here. And uh, again, no word, no word yet on, on who these people were. Could have been people who were being transported across the border. Could have been some human trafficking thing. Those seem like probably the more probable options, but we don't know. We honestly don't know. Could be anything at this point. So I'm going to check a couple of sources here and see if I can find anything more for you. Uh, information seemed to be kind of scanty at the moment. Let me go back to this their their homepage there. Uh, this is a, a, a San Antonio news station. No, nope. well, they just switched off. The, there it is. I want to go over here. Uh, let's see what they say. Okay, this may be some new news here. Okay, this is from KENS5 San Antonio. They're saying semi-trailer discovered with immigrants, with immigrants on the southwest side, uh, four dead, more injured. So they're saying with immigrants, I'll show you the four, full headline. Okay, and let's just read a little bit. San Antonio police and fire departments are investigating multiple deaths after a large group of people was found inside an 18-wheeler in a southwest side Walmart parking lot Sunday morning, officials confirmed to KENS 5. According to the fire department, someone contacted a manager at the store saying there were possibly illegal immigrants inside the 18-wheeler trailer. San Antonio Fire Department was called to the scene for multiple people suffering from heat and or cold exposure. Upon arrival, uh, several people inside the trailer were already dead, and at least 12 had to be transported to local hospitals with priority one status. Uh, a number of people were also transported to hospitals with priority two status. The Walmart says where it is. Uh, okay, so, oh, we have a little bit of a live feed here. Okay, this, oops, sorry, evening, folks. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. South Texas is booming, and that... <laughs> I want to kill the audio here, sorry. So there's a, there's a live shot here. Let me see if I can get this on screen. So there's a live shot for you there. I'd also like, okay, I'm gonna leave that up there for a second. And I'm just doing something real quick here. So that is a live shot from the scene there. Uh, I mean, it looks like just authorities are on scene. Uh, not really much to see there. Again, uh, this latest report from KNS5 said uh, four dead, more injured. Uh, at least 12 had to be transported to local hospitals with priority one status. And uh, a number of other people were transported to hospitals with priority two status. Sorry, I'm just going to post that story we just read. I'm going to post it on my Twitter just so people can see it. Okay, so let's go back, and I, I just want to go over it. Just going to uh, go up here for a second. This was... We were just reading from this story. This is from KENS5 San Antonio. So what they said, they said the semi-trailer that was discovered with immigrants in it. That's what the police and fire departments are reporting. Um, and they said somebody contacted the manager of the store saying there were possibly illegal immigrants inside the 18-wheeler trailer. Uh, the fire department came. They found multiple people dead and also alive, suffering from heat and or cold exposure, a large number have been transported to hospitals in very, very uh, grave condition. So that's what we're, uh, that's the latest we have on this right now. I'm going to see if I can find out anything else. If you know anything else, feel free to give me a shout on Twitter at Lookner at L-O-O-K-N-E-R. Or if you want to comment on this story, if you just want to uh, write in a comment, I'm happy to read it on the air. Just uh, give me a shout. It's late at night, um, you know, and uh, but I saw this on the air and we thought we wanted to just go on and give you an update about it. And uh, we'll see if we can get any more information in the coming minutes. I'm going to do some searching here and try to find some more for you. It's also one of these stories where, where you know, I, I don't know, I don't know how, uh, 
how common this kind of thing is. I mean, is it possible like this kind of thing happens a ton, but maybe they find like some people who are sick or maybe like one dies or something like that? I don't know. I just, I feel like I haven't heard in the recent past about something like this where so many people, I mean, it looks like 35 or 40 people were in that trailer uh, and dead or suffering from uh, cold or heat issues. Uh, tr uh, sounds like most of the people in there were transported to hospitals. And, and yet the driver was there. Supposedly the driver was arrested. Does it say the driver was arrested here? Let me just confirm that. I saw a report saying that before. I don't know if this story said the driver was a driver arrested. Let me see. It was an 18 wheeler. So this story does not say the driver was arrested. So we still don't know about that yet. And I'll show you there's a live stream going on from KENS. That's at the bottom there. Uh, not much to see. They're just sort of on the perimeter there of the Walmart parking lot looking at the authorities uh, from a distance. Steve Grasha writes in multiple reports of eight dead, 18 transported. Yeah, thanks, Steve. I, I saw a couple reports about eight dead. Uh, the difference here is that this KENS, uh, so those reports I saw of eight dead were, were, I know some of them were just from like news sites, whereas this is the KENS, I mean like news aggregator sites, where this is the KENS uh, news channel in San Antonio. They're saying four dead. That could be, maybe that figure will go up though, so I'll keep an eye on it. I'm going to do a quick search right here and see if I can find some more stuff. Fox News. Fox News is now reporting this story. Fox News is saying eight dead. Let me show you this tweet from Fox News. Actually, I want to keep that guy. That guy's been tweeting out stuff, so I want to keep him up there. Let me just get you Fox on Twitter. Oops, well, I shouldn't search for our Fox. So check it out. Uh, now being reported by Fox News. They are saying San Antonio police find eight people dead inside 18 wheeler in Walmart parking lot. That is from Fox News. I also am kind of interested in what Joseph Lopez, Joseph Lopez, uh, he is at that San Antonio station that's reporting on this. He's sending out tweets. Okay, this is new from Joseph. I'm going to retweet this. So, oops, sorry. Uh, Joseph Lopez writes, eight dead, including two juveniles. So this is from Joseph Lopez at KNS. Eight dead, including two juveniles. 20 critical, 20 critical, 20 critical. More not as serious. Driver in custody. So wow, 20 critical. Eight dead and 20 critical. So it sounds to me like, of, given the numbers we saw, most of the people in there were dead or in critical condition. And yet, the driver's in custody, so the driver, was the driver there? Was the, Did they maybe find that, did the driver park and they found the driver in some hotel nearby or something? We don't know, but uh, an awful story. Show you that again. Oops, sorry. So I'm going to leave that up on the screen there while I try to find some more information about this. Terrible story, actually, uh, this story here. Uh, again, this is Steve Lugner. This is Right Side Broadcasting. We're covering this story about, as you can see on the screen, uh, a 18-wheeler found in a parking lot of, of a Walmart at San Antonio. Uh, apparently, somebody said uh, they... Uh, so, uh, the, the fire department reportedly said that somebody had reported, hey, there's this trailer outside of this Walmart and we think there might be illegal immigrants in there. Now, I don't know how the people who reported that thought came to think that maybe they saw people inside, maybe they heard people moaning inside or shouting or something inside, but somebody reported to the authorities. The authorities checked it out. They found eight dead, 20 critical. Uh, you know, something kind of scary I thought I just had is if these people were illegal immigrants, which is initial reporting we, we've heard, you know, maybe what if the driver, what if eventually the driver realized, hey, they're all dead? Would we have, ne would we have never heard about this? Would the driver have gone and like dumped them off somewhere? I don't know. You know, this thing might happen. Uh, 
more often than we think and just doesn't get reported. So really sad story. We'll keep an eye on, try to get you more details about it. By the way, William Geary Jr., thank you so much. William Geary just made a donation. Uh, we're, uh, for those of you who don't watch, we're a viewer-supported news network. Uh, we, we use your donations to stay on the air. So if, wa if when you're watching or after you're watching, you feel like, hey, I like your coverage and I want to have you keep, keep you on the air to cover these news uh, stories, uh, you can donate by going to rsbn.tv slash donate, rsbn.tv slash donate or do what William Geary, Geary Jr. did uh, in the YouTube chat room next to the broadcast. You can click on the dollar sign at the bottom of the chat and donate that way. We, lo we really appreciate it because that's what allows us to be on the air covering these stories. I have to guess that if you turn it on CNN or MSNBC right now, there wouldn't be like live coverage of this. Maybe I'm wrong, but we want to come on and do some live coverage of it. Okay, so I'm going to try to get, again, some more information about this story. That's what we know so far. Uh, if you have information, feel free to give me a shout on Twitter. Or if you have just a comment on the story, I'm happy to read it on the air. Uh, L -O -O -K, at L-O-O-K-N-E-R. Just checking a couple things here to see if I can find anything more. I'm seeing a lot of the eight people dead, which Fox reported. See if I can find any new information here. I see a report. Somebody is reporting that there were 38 people in the trailer. What is this tweet here? No, that's not. That's not really new. So I'm going to keep looking here. Try to find some more information about this. Again, Fox News is reporting this as well. Uh, the local station, let me go back to the local station page. It's K-E-N-S-5. So they ended their little live stream in the parking lot there. Let's see if they've updated this page at all. Okay, uh, K-E-N-S has updated their story to say eight immigrants dead. So it seems like eight is the number because we're seeing Fox News reported eight, K-E-N-S, uh, San Antonio is reporting eight. Uh, all right, so they've changed the story a little bit. Let's go over this story again. It's not that long, so let's just read through it. Uh, San Antonio police and fire departments are investigating multiple deaths after a large group of people was found inside an 18-wheeler uh, in a southwest side Walmart parking lot early Sunday morning. Eight people were confirmed dead, including two young young children. So this two young children, is a, they did not have this in their story before. They have just updated their story to include this. 20 more were transported to hospitals with possibly life-threatening injuries. Another eight had non-life-threatening injuries. So we have 36 total. Eight dead, 20 with injuries transported to the hospitals. Eight more with non-life threatening injuries. Um, according, and again, we've read this before, we'll read it again real quick. According to the San Antonio Fire Department, someone contacted a manager at the store saying there were possibly illegal immigrants inside the trailer. Sorry, I want to pause this. Firefighters said several people, ah, stop. stop. Fire paper said several people inside the trailer were already dead and emergency officials started helping others. Two air life helicopters transported patients. Okay, so that's KNS update. Let's see if I can get anything else new on this. For what it's worth, I'm seeing a Dutch site report this story. I just wanted to show you real quick, because I said before, you know, when I, when I I couldn't remember where San Antonio was in Texas, and I was like, oh, is it just across the border? But let me just show you real quick, because I think it's an interesting aspect to this, this sad story. So San Antonio, well, let's pan out a little bit. So there's Texas there, and there's San Antonio. So by no means is it just across the border. Uh, 
there's no uh, there's a hundred mile scale it's a, it's a, it's over a hundred miles away from the border so if this was a truck bringing in illegal immigrants they weren't just this it it's it seems like some sort of very organized thing because well at least this is what it, this i you know this might all be wrong but it's it seems like it was organized because they didn't just leave the people at the border they're in san antonio which is a hundred mi over a hundred miles past the border so what you know I, I don't know how this stuff works do they bring them way up north so they, there's risk of a risk of them being caught is there a central place they go to i don't know why i don't know but it is it is quite an interesting detail of this sad story that this is where this truck was found it was found in san antonio not you know right across the border somewhere so then you wonder you know is it not bring so you might think well is it people who've paid to come into the country to like just get into the country and then but Another possibility is that it's people who are being brought in here, smuggled in here for human trafficking considerations. Maybe they're put to work somewhere or something. I don't know, uh, but I'm just, there's all these different possibilities and we just don't know uh, the answers right now. So I'm just looking to get more information if I can on this. this so what is this is this anything worth showing you let me go back to this uh, you know I can also see if they've updated their site at all no nope, that's still the same what it was before oh I was gonna check and see uh, if uh, if like San Antonio newspapers had anything I don't know what the San Antonio newspaper is called. I guess it's www.mysanantonio.com. Well, my San Antonio is dropping the ball. They, they literally have nothing on their site about it. Neither does the San Antonio Express News. They're not on the ball either. Come on, San Antonio news sites, get on the ball. Check a couple of the other TV sites here, see if they're reporting it. No. The only site that's reporting in San Antonio is this KNS5. They were on the ball. Okay, we'll stand up for a few more minutes here to see if we get any more news about this uh, story, about this trailer of immigrants that was found with eight dead, 20 seriously injured, having to be transported to hospitals, perhaps with life-threatening uh, injuries. Two of the dead are children, we've heard. Uh, the driver's in custody. So trying to get more information. Uh, if you have more information or if you'd like to write in a comment, give me a shout on Twitter, at Lookner, at L-O-O-K-N-E-R. Also, um, just if you do like uh, this kind of breaking news updates, live coverage, uh, feel free to subscribe to us on YouTube and click the notifications bell when you do so you can get informed whenever we come on live like this. Also, you can uh, follow and like us on Facebook because we post our videos there too. And... Uh, Follow us on Twitter at RSB Network. And again, I'm on Twitter. I'm on Twitter. I'm at at Luckner, and I post a lot of breaking news stuff. Rob, Rocky Sanchez writes in, Hey, Luckner, good work at the live coverage of the story. Mainstream media shows reruns while new media at uh, Right Side Broadcasting are at work covering the news. Thanks, Rocky. And yeah, we really do. I, I personally, as somebody who, who follows the news a lot, I, I do get annoyed when stories happen and, and I turn on the mainstream media networks and all I'm seeing is reruns. So uh, we do like to come on and, and cover things live. I wish they would more too, but they're not, so we will. Ah, so I just read a tweet from somebody who said the temperature was above 100. Let me check this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's check the San Antonio weather, shall we? I should have thought of that before. Okay, well, it was, it's 80. Let's look. I wish I could find a timeline from yesterday. But that's today. And it's, okay, yeah, look. So... Oops, can I move this up? It's, this is an important, I think this might be an important point, I'm not sure. 
Today's high is going to be 101. Tomorrow's high is going to be 101. I don't know what the high for yesterday was, but I'm guessing it was probably around 100, assuming that the, uh, the weather didn't change much there. I'm trying to find this out if I can. Yeah, so I can't off the top of my head find it out, but if you look at the weather, uh, it's uh, the high is 101 both today and today, later today and tomorrow. So if this previous day was anything like today will be and tomorrow will be, and these people were in the back of that 18 wheeler traveling in 100 degree or more temperature because they were coming from the south, who knows? You know, they might probably drive if they were driving across just a very sunny stretch of freeway. Uh, it could have been incredibly hot in there if they were driving today. So, now CNN Espanol. This is interesting to me. Let me show you this. CNN Espanol. Well, I thought I spelled it right, didn't I? CNN Espanol. No, that's not what I wanted. There it is. Is that an actual site? <laughs> Sorry. There's a reason I'm doing this. It might not seem like there is, but there is. Well, I can't find it. Anyways, I'm seeing a CNN Espanol site, but I don't know if that's a real CNN site reporting this story, but I don't think CNN has reported it yet. America First writes in, I thought I was working late and it's 1 a.m. here. Thanks for your commitment to covering breaking news even at 4 a.m. Well, if we're awake and it's breaking, we will cover it. Here's an interesting tweet that I found from someone that I'll show you. This person didn't write to us, but I'm going to show you their tweet anyway because it's an interesting tweet. Where is it? Where is this person? This was this person named Planet Great again posted this. They said I hope this, and this is again, this is, I'm just getting this off Twitter. They didn't write to me. Uh, I hope this lights a fire under Walmart in San Antonio and ban 18 wheelers and trailers to park freely overnight. There should be a fine. So I'm not sure, but perhaps this person is from the area and that's an issue they have with trailers parking at these places. I don't know. I'm just thought it was an interesting tweet. I can see this news is kind of breaking a bit more because the, the amount of tweets is slowly growing that people are people are posting about it. But not new news yet. Uh, somebody is this guy democracy who I don't even know who this person is. They're saying the authorities are treating it as a human smuggling case. That's not confirmed yet. But we talked about how that could be a possibility here. It's not this. Well, when I hear human smuggling, I don't think of them just letting people come across the border. I'm thinking of them. I might be wrong, actually. I don't know. When I think of human smuggling, I think of like they're they're bringing people in to like do work of some sort or something like that. But I might be wrong. Just to give you a sampling of what various people are writing here. And again, this is not people who've written to me, but I'll show you real quick. So this person says, C Show said RIP to all the immigrants who died tonight in San Antonio. It's so sad to hear about it. They just came for a better life and died. So that's what that person's impression is. Uh, I'm seeing different views of different sorts from different Americans. On this. I think that person's American. I'm not sure though. So I'm... Uh, if you have a comment you'd like to write in on the story, give me a shout on Twitter, at Lookner, at L-O-O-K-N-E-R. Wade writes in, thank you, Steve, for staying up late to report the news. You're an awesome guy. Thank you, Wade, for watching. 
Uh, Dina says, this stuff happens every day in the USA. Clearly our US border security aren't doing their job, nor checking what's inside semis at checkpoints. This is actually an interesting point that Dina makes. And she says, so like, how does this trailer get across the border uh, with 36 people inside? Now, I don't know what checking procedures they have. You know, do they check for people? Do they open up every truck? I don't know. Maybe they don't. But uh, that is an interesting point that, hey, this, this presumably, presumably this truck crossed the border with 36 people inside it. And it was not caught doing so. You would like to think that there would be some kind of procedure for making sure trucks don't bring in large amounts of people because it, that would seem like an easy way to bring in large amounts of people to the country. JC writes in, Steve, thank you for bringing this uh, news. You and RSBN are doing an awesome job and always know RSBN Mod Squad has your back. Thank you so much, JC. JC, one of our moderators on YouTube. Thank you, JC, for staying up late and moderating tonight. Very much appreciated. Um, and also, if you're watching this on Facebook, hello, and feel free to, uh, to let's see, where are we on Facebook still? I thought we were. Let me make sure. I thought we were live there. I hope I didn't do anything to mess it up let me do a quick I'm just doing a quick check to make sure we're live on Facebook still and everything's okay uh, everything's still okay if you're on Facebook feel free to uh, share this video uh, because we do like to let other people know uh, not we we don't spend lots of money on advertising because we don't have the money so uh, but it's a good when you share the video it's a helpful way of letting other people know that we're covering this stuff live CNN Breaking News is now reporting it. So this story is being very widely reported now. I'll show you that tweet. CNN Breaking News is saying eight people were found dead in the back of a tractor trailer at a Walmart parking lot in San Antonio. We were on way, way ahead of you, CNN, covering this. Actually, I bet they're not even on the air. I'd like them to be on the air covering it. I'd like all the networks to go on the air when stuff like this happens. Uh, okay, let's see. Can we find some more information here? Teresa Poole writes in, if 95 outside, it will be minimum 129 degrees inside car within 30 minutes. So, yeah, you know, we, we, we saw the weather before from San Antonio. And uh, the weather, today it's supposed to be 101. Tomorrow it's supposed to be 101. So if it was like that yesterday at all when this truck was driving, uh, and they were, you know, if the temperature outside was 100, and then you add the sun beating down the truck and, you know, they're on some road somewhere made of asphalt. You can just imagine how hot it would have been if this truck was indeed traveling with all those people in the back yesterday. Rocky Sanchez says, good work on the live coverage of the story. Mainstream media shows reruns. Oh, I already read that, Rocky. Uh, thank you, though, for writing it in. Gonna just try to find uh, a little more information here, if possible. Everybody's reporting eight dead. What is this video? I'm going to show you a little video that this guy, Jack Acosta, from KENS5 posted. Let me show you that real quick. If I can find his, uh, there we go. That's him. Here's that. So Jack Acosta posted, oh, he posted this a little while ago, but I'll show it to you anyway. Hold on one sec, folks. Are eight or deceased. There are a total of 38 people in there, right? We took a total of 38, but there's a total of 38 in the incident that we know of so far. Eight are deceased that are um, on the scene still. 20 have been transported to area hospitals. A number of those are critical. A number of those are very severe. So that is a total of 20. So that's probably these ones and twos. There are another eight that were transported that are not as severe that just need to be rehydrated. So that's the total number we're looking at right now. Where are they going to be taken? 
They've all been taken to area hospitals, seven different hospitals. So we flooded downtown San Antonio and our critical care hospitals with patients tonight. But we do have bed space available if anything else happens tonight. So that's a good thing. After these people are treated, what will happen to them? They'll, they'll be uh, investigated by ICE. And as far as the police action is concerned, you'll talk to the man that was the driver and what else? The, the, the driver and whomever else uh, we find that's involved in this will be facing state and federal charges. I'm sorry, the, uh, the, uh, the sound was off, my bad. Uh, hey, sorry about that. So this is Steve Luckner, Right Side Broadcasting. Uh, I played that video for you. Uh, that was, the, the details in that video were, uh, were um, details that we'd heard earlier, but I uh, wanted to show you the video anyway. Uh, the, they said 38 people were found in that trailer in the Walmart parking lot, eight of whom were dead, uh, 20 transported to hospitals. So, um, uh, what else? That was, yeah, so that was, we've heard that information, but want to show you the video. Gonna try to get you some more information. Sorry, I accidentally muted myself during the video. Again, if you hear anything more about the story, or if you have any kind of comment you'd like to say about it, feel free to give me a shout on Twitter at Lookner at L-O-O-K-N-E-R. I will read your comment on the air as long as it is clean. Uh, P-Cell wrote in, this is alarming and sounds well-founded to travel so many miles. Today it is people, God forbid tomorrow could be WMD. This is serious. So P-Cell is pointing out that uh, he's worried about, you know, that these people were able to get across the border in this truck and could something even more, uh, something like a WMD be in a truck and be transported across the border. Just looking for some more. And, and again, the driver is in custody and they said they were going to talk to the driver. I don't know if they found the driver at the, at the, in, in the truck. Did they find the driver in the Walmart? Did they find the driver at some hotel somewhere? Don't know. How often does this kind of thing happen? Don't know. How often does this kind of thing happen and we never hear about the truck because it never gets caught? Don't know. Not seeing anything really new at the moment on this. I am still checking various places. Jeffrey Walker says, make them uh, better. Send Mexico the bill and deport them. That is from Jeffrey Walker. Teresa Poole writes in, is San Antonio a sanctuary city? I do not know. I don't know that information, Teresa. I'm checking various tweets, but everybody's like retweeting the same information. Uh, no one's tweeting and uh, new in, tweeting new information. Again, two of the people found dead were children. They were just in a trailer in the back of an 18-wheeler. 
which I can't imagine. I mean, think about that ride with the temperature and just you're not like sitting even sitting in seats. What are you just like sitting against the wall or something? So just terrible. But it sounds like it was just so hot in there. Steve Grosha writes in, there has been a movement to stop RV owners from parking at Walmarts during their travels. It's an interesting issue. I don't know enough about that, but uh, perhaps they see it as a place where no one's going to bother them. Uh, so this was not an RV. This was an 18-wheeler, but Steve, thank you for the perspective on that. I hadn't, hadn't heard about that whole issue. Okay, we'll stay on a couple more minutes. I'm not sure at this point if we're gonna get any more new information because all I'm seeing is the same information kind of being retweeted. What did Joseph Lopez post? Let's see what he posted. Okay, uh, this is a post from Joseph Lopez. He retweeted Luke Simmons. Uh, Luke Simmons says, San Antonio Fire said, Chief Hood says no AC in 18 wheeler. 28 transported many with heat stroke dehydration issues. So that's a little new detail there. No AC, heat stroke, uh, dehydration issues. Uh, let's see. How long are these full remarks? Let's, I don't really want to play a 10 minute video here. Let me just see what this is real quick. Let me see how long this is. Okay, that's like, oops, sorry. So it's a 40 minute video. I'm not gonna play this, but if you wanna see this video, all 40 minutes of it or some part of it, you can go to KENS5 on Facebook. That is where that is. So you can go there and check out the video if you'd like. KENS5 on Facebook. Reagan Better writes in, that's near the military base for basic training. Thanks, Reagan Better, for writing in. Jack Sandler says, Steve, just so you know, not me, but lots of your Facebook followers hate that you only read comments from Twitter followers. So, Jack, you know, and I periodically say this on the air, uh, I'm not biasing, I'm not biased against Facebook. The thing is, Facebook and YouTube are chat rooms, and I don't read any of the chat room stuff because I can't, I'm produ I'm actually sending this out on the air myself, so the I only really have, I'm able to check one thing. I can't be constantly reading the chats as they flow by. Uh, the Twitter chat doesn't flow by, it stays there. So the one place I get comments from is Twitter. So I am not ignoring people. Uh, I have the YouTube chat up on the screen and I never read the comments from there. I'd love to read all the comments, but it's just, it's too busy with all the stuff. So Facebook people, I'm not ignoring you. But as I said before, if you'd like to me to read your comment on the year, no matter where you are, write to me on Twitter at, at Luckner. You can also email me. There's my email address is on the screen too. You can email me as well. So you can always, I'm always happy to read comments from people. Just know that I, I really can't read the chat rooms in real time because it just, it'll, my head will explode. I'm, I'm not capable of, uh, if I had six eyes, I could do it, but I can't do it. So please, I'd love to read your comment if you're watching Facebook or anywhere else, but just either the two ways to reach me are at Lookner on Twitter or my email address below. Peggy Sushev says, Steve, don't you ever sleep? My God, you're up reporting news, tie on and ready for the day, 4 a.m. ish, impressive. I will be tired after this and I will go right to bed. Uh, Steve Grasha says, uh, the Facebook page for the San Antonio Police Department has a video uplink. Do you mean that video we just saw, Steve Grasha? I'll check it myself. Yeah, so the briefing, you could find that briefing also the police briefing on this at the San Antonio Police Department on Facebook as well. Thank you, Steve, for saying that. NY Mike 2 s says, could have snuck into trailer just over border. Fact, you have to drive your truck 
through a giant x-ray machine and the dogs uh, so, so what you're saying in my mic too, is, is it possible that the trailer came over the border with no one inside and then soon after the border, they picked up the people near the border and then drove them further? Again, I don't know how these things work. So to, as far as I'm aware, anything is possible because I just, I'm so not an expert in this. Thanks for writing in my mic 2s uh, Trumper writes in the Democrat immigration plan working how it's supposed to in San Antonio sad. That's from Trumper. And uh, just so you know, I I don't I don't edit the comments unless they're like offensive or are not clean or anything. So when we read comments here at Right Side Broadcasting, no matter what the comment is, we're not endorsing them or not endorsing them. We let you decide what to think. We just we're, we we want to be interactive here. And if you have a opinion on the story, no matter what it is, as long as it's clean clean, I'm happy to uh, read your comment on the air. BNO News is also reporting, and I'll show you this right now. BNO News also reporting. San Antonio police chief says deaths inside the truck are a result of human trafficking. Air conditioning was not working. See, human trafficking. I know I gotta look up what that what the definition of that is because I don't think that's just bringing people, paying, having people pay you to bring them across the border. Human trafficking, says Wikipedia, is the trade of humans most commonly for the purpose of forced labor, sexual slavery, or commercial sexual exploitation. So if this is true that it was human trafficking, that means it's not just bringing people across the border who want to come into the country. It's bringing people here for the purpose of like uh, exploit exploitative labor or sexual slavery or these kind of things. Could be somebody has a factory and they're bringing them to work there. I don't know. And by the way, I'll, I'll repeat again, if, if you do uh, like that we cover breaking news like this, uh, please consider making a donation because we uh, we use, basically we're, we're viewer supported. We only stay on the air because people donate. And we take the money that's just donated and we use it to stay on the air. So uh, you can donate by going to rsbn.tv slash donate, rsbn.tv slash donate, or you can click in the YouTube chat room next to the broadcast. There's a dollar sign at the bottom of the chat room. You can click on that and donate that way. NY Mike 2 s says, those trailers are so darn hot in summer in Texas. So sad. Walmart has designated drivers too. There will be big trouble over this. Now, this isn't a Walmart truck as far as I'm aware. It's just at a Walmart, just to be clear on this. Uh, Trumper says, I live in Arizona and we need help on our southern border. Trump has helped, but we need a wall. Hashtag San Antonio. That is from Trumper. Thank you for writing in. JC writes in, Steve, build that wall and stop all immigration period for 10 years minimum. That is from JC. Now, let's also, it's also pretty pointed out this. If this is human trafficking, it's possible these people didn't even want to come here and they were being forcibly brought here. I don't know, but that's one type of human trafficking where you bring someone somewhere else. You bring somebody to a different country by force to do some kind of exploitative labor work there. So it's, it's a possibility. Still looking here for some more updates, but haven't seen anything lately. Okay, so we'll give this a couple more minutes to see if any news comes in. Uh, so if you have a comment uh, or you have a you have you find something some other news about this, get to me quickly at Luckner on Twitter.
Okay, well, I'm seeing basically the same news here, so I'm not sure we'll get any news, more news soon on this. So I think, I think at this point we're going to wrap up the stream. So to summarize what we know, there was a 18-wheeler found at a Walmart parking lot at San Antonio tonight. Uh, somebody reported there might be illegal aliens inside to their authorities. The authorities came and found uh, 38 people inside the trailer, eight of whom were dead, two of the dead were children. 20 of those injured, 20 of the people were injured and were tr to a degree that they had to be transported to hospitals, some with critical injuries. And, uh, and uh, there were some others with non-life-threatening injuries. So, uh, and the driver is in custody. So that's what we know at this point. Danielle Dufresne just gave five, uh, $5 and said, RSB and absolutely the best when it comes to live updates. Thank you so much, Danielle. Really appreciate your donation. It's very kind of you. Um, and uh, if you do like breaking news, uh, feel free uh, to follow us because we come on, as you can see, we come on live whenever and cover it. Uh, subscribe to us at right, uh, at right Side Broadcasting on YouTube and click the notifications bell when you do. Uh, like and follow us on Facebook. Uh, at Twitter, we're at RSB Network. And on Twitter, you can follow me. I'm at Lookner. I post about breaking news stuff all the time at L-O-O-K-N-E-R. And again, if you would like to donate to us to, so that we can keep covering this breaking news uh, stuff on the air, like we always do live, uh, rsbn.tv slash donate. Okay, I'm going to say uh, good night to everybody out there, or good morning. I need to go get some sleep now. Thank you for joining me from uh, all of you on Facebook, all of you in the chat room there. Some of the regulars are in there, I see. So hello to everybody. Um, and this, again, this is a very sad story. Uh, I should say, our Right Side Broadcasting, obviously our thoughts are with everyone, all the people hurt in this or that died in this. It's a really sad story that these people were in this apparently incredibly sweltering hot truck and many of whom died or suffered critical injuries. So very, very sad story. And um, so our thoughts with everybody uh, in, who was uh, uh, in that truck and er the people who knew them and their families and everything. So very sad. So, okay, we're going to wrap this up for now. Uh, I am Steve Luckner. This is um, Right Side Broadcasting. Uh, and thank you for joining us and thank you for writing in with all your comments. And uh, we'll see you soon next time there's breaking news or next time there's big news will be on the air. But for now, uh, have a good night, good morning, and we'll see you soon.